Yo, 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 what's poppin' guys? This is the Sanctuary. Yeah. I changed my group. Look at that Sanctuary. I changed, I changed, I changed, I changed my name, guys. So now this is not my new normal video with the Viper Bash. It's, 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 it's still under. This is Sanctuary Folk Ministries now. So, that would be my new name. This is my new title for my new, my new, my new YouTube. You, it's the uh, my new my new, new YouTube ministry. So, uh, uh, so guys, um, yo, uh, so today we're gonna be talking about uh being alive in Christ, but particularly we're gonna be talking about sanctifying grace. We're gonna be talking about sanctifying grace, and we're gonna be talking about um, uh, sanctifying grace. And then we talk about sanctifying grace. He says, Holy. Spirit, Talk about sanctifying grace. So, sanctifying grace. So, God wants us to understand and understand the wholeness and the fullness of our new creation in Christ Jesus. We need to understand and be able to stand on our own, knowing that we've been made spiritually, not only spiritually alive, but we have been set apart by Christ. And these tools will help you understand that you are not only sanctified, but you are redeemed. These are promises, precious promises from God, and they're also blessings that if you take hold of them and understand them, that God. If you take, lay hold of them and understand them, God lets you understand and know that you are a child of God, you are redeemed. And you can stand knowing that you are pure, you are sanctified. So, if you look at uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, Ephesians 1, 3, Ephesians 3, verse 14. Ephesians 3, says, Holy Spirit, Ephesians 3, verse 14. Look at Ephesians 3, verse 14. Uh, Ephesians 3, verse 14. What it speaks about it. So today we're going to be understanding three main things. Is in Christ you've been made new, a new creation. God's will is your sanctification. This is what we're going to be learning about. In Christ you've been made a new creation. God's will is your sanctification. And God wants to bless you with these precious promises. So uh, Ephesians, Ephesians 1, 1, 3. Ephesians 1, 3. Ephesians 1, 3 says... And I want to read it. I want to read it specifically. Ephesians 1 thing. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with his every spiritual blessings in heavenly places, even as he chose us in him. He chose us in him. Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we may be blameless. That we may be what? Blameless. We may be holy. We may be blameless before him. We've been made blameless and and holy before the Lord Most High. This is a blessing knowing that we are sinners and that God has made us into saints. And in the eyes of God, God says we are holy, we are blameless people. We are before Him, we are blameless. So we are spotless in the eyes of God. This is a precious blessing unto you, knowing that you are a sinner, you are a rebel. Now God has made you royalty, you are a sinner, God has made you saint. You, God is, God says that you are holy and blameless before Him. Ephesians 1 was 3 to 4. Guys, keep this in your mind. Keep this. This will, if you stand on this, this is the Bible says people perish because of a lack of knowledge. But if you have this knowledge, you will never fall nor stumble, understanding your rightful position before God. You are holy, you are blameless before the Lord Most High. Uh, if you look at, uh, it says, we've been made new. We've been made, the second part of this is, we've been made a new creation in Christ. There's a Bible, says, there's a verse that says, in Christ you've been made a new creation. The old has passed, truly, the new has come. So the mark of your sin, yes, the mark of your sin, we're still in this fallen world, we're still in this carnal body, which is fleshly desires, but you have a spiritual nature because you've been made alive in Christ. The Bible says you have been made a new creation. You are new in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, and understanding the will of God. And this was this, this was understanding the will of God. God's will is your sanctification. Sanctification means what? You've been set apart. You've been preserved. You've been made holy and blameless, like it unto Ephesians three verse four. This is how God has sanctified us. This is the position in which we stand, and we need to lay hold of that, even as we continue to uphold the integrity of of this particular verse, holy and blameless. This does not mean we do anything. It means that we take our rightful position before God, which is being holy and blameless before Him. So, guys, uh, where was it? Thessalonians 4.3 says, This is the will of God, 
your sanctification but it also goes on that you may abstain from sexual impurity and all that stuff it goes on concerning that but it's speaking specifically about the will of god that you may abstain from impurity that you may abstain from god this is god's impurity so you stand with this foundation knowing that you're blameless before god and then we go again to this other one which is a precious promise it says you are whole, the holy spirit is crazy it's a precious promise this is what Verse 13, verse 14 of the same verse, Ephesians. It says, In him, in him who? In him you also were, you, you, when you heard the word of truth, the word of truth, this being the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, you were sealed. This is a sealing. This means that it, it cannot be broken. It, you were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit who is the guarantee of your inheritance and is your until we acquire possession of it to the praise of the Lord uh, through the glory of God. This Bible verse that uh, we have an advocate before God. In the Bible, there's a verse that says we have an advocate before God. This he is your advocate. So you don't need to fear anything about even when the time comes to go back home. To be with the Lord. You have an advocate. And standing with this word. Standing with understanding your position. Being holy and blameless. And also using this understanding of the promises you've been given. And salvation through him. Promises of the Holy Spirit. A guarantee of the Holy Spirit. And inheritance. And until you acquire your possession of it. God will sustain you. The Bible says he is the author. He's the finisher of the faith. And like the Alpha and Omega. He will do it for you. You are sanctified. You are redeemed. You are the Lord's. In Jesus mighty name. Be blessed guys. Uh, I ask my father. Uh, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lead you. In the name of Jesus Christ. According to this. In Jesus mighty name. May the Lord bless you. And with all hope my father God. To the fullness of understanding. The hope that which you have in Christ Jesus Christ. And to know the, 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 the love of God. Which surpasses all knowledge and understanding. And that you may grow in this knowledge of sanctification. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you may be strengthened in the knowledge of God. In this truth, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name. Hey guys, out. Be blessed, guys. In Jesus' name.